Hello everyone. This film, rather than being a straightforward lecture, is actually an introduction to the series of lectures. And as always, when I start my films, I'm going to tell you about the hat. And this hat is um, a little teddy bear with sort of pom-pom ears. I hope you can see it all right. It's really overexposed in here today. I have put the blinds um, down, but it is quite bright still. Um, what's not to like about this hat, I say? Um, why would you not want little pom-pom ears on your hat? It's actually a child's hat, but because I have a pinhead, uh, it fits me perfectly. Although I think it would fit most people, it is quite stretchy. It might not surprise you to know that it cost a pound from one of those pound shops. Anyway, this is actually an introduction to the series, as I've said. So the series of lectures, um, which currently consist of three, although I shall be making more, are mostly for undergraduate uh, students, but really for anyone who's interested in the particular subject matter of each individual lecture. So far, I'll just tell you what subjects I've covered in terms of academic subject areas, cultural studies, politics, geography, English literature, philosophy, media and communications, history and feminist studies. Oh, that will obviously expand when I um, do more films. The current themes are ideology, structuralism, power, subjectivity, psychogeography, popular culture, semiology, language, cartography, dream analysis, psychoanalysis, representation, uh, praxis, etc. So what this film is about is it's an introduction to me, to more of my hats and also, more importantly, to the Freud disco study which you see behind me. So what I'm going to do now is um, uh, talk to you more about the hats. Well, I really like hats and I've always worn them really and particularly started to become interested in them probably more in the 1990s and I sort of, I don't want to call myself a hat collector, um, but I just like wearing them and I think they finish off your outfit. Uh, I'll tell you about a couple of my favourite ones. I've got a really lovely, uh, huge, fluffy brown uh, hat, which a friend gave me. I have to be feeling really bold to wear it because it's kind of a bit of a statement hat. It uh, looks a little bit like the ones that JK from Jamiroquai wears. I have actually got a really beautiful hat. It's a floppy brim straw hat that I actually haven't worn, which is quite embarrassing to say. It is a wedding type hat though, and it would have to be a not very windy day because of the floppy brim on it, and I feel you'd have to hold on to it the whole time you're wearing it. But it's really lovely, and it's got bands of pink and red and blue on it. I remember when I bought the hat, I was in Leamington Spa with friends that, that weekend, and uh, I bought it on a bit of a whim. It was uh, for sale in a, in a designer shop, and I didn't think about having to carry it around uh, for the rest of the shopping trip or how I was going to get it home. And what I had to do to get it home was hollow out a hat-shaped space in my suitcase so that I could actually get it in there without crushing it. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little film of where the hats live when I'm not wearing them. Oh yes, my hats. Well, I have a whole load of hats. I have a selection that I keep in here. There we are, some furry hats, some berries, all sorts of hats in there. The softer ones that don't matter if they get a bit crushed, but is, as if that isn't enough, if we go over to my Narnia wardrobe, we have a whole load of hats in here as well. There we are. When I moved here a, a few years ago now, I was just coming to the end of writing my thesis and I knew I was going to be spending a lot of time at my computer. So instead of making the larger of my two reception rooms my lounge, I decided to make it my study because I was going to be spending so much time in here. And I thought I'm going to make it into a really aesthetically pleasing space so that I don't mind uh, coming downstairs and spending hours in here every day. Also, it had a nice big bay window with lots of light, so I knew that I would be able to get lots of vitamin D and uh, feel quite cheerful against the backdrop of the northern grey skies. <laughs> so it's a really big space. Uh, I've got loads of room for my books and it's got a, a nice big uh, wooden floor, hence the disco study side of it. And in fact, I do do my aerobics in here. 
because it's so big and there's loads of space. And the Freud side of it is obviously a little kind of nod to uh, Freud's own study, uh, which I'm going to show you a picture of in a minute. It doesn't really look anything like that. Um, but it does contain all my old jade art. Uh, quite a lot of them are, are very kitsch-like and uh, a lot of them have got memories attached to them. Some of them are just objects that I really, really like. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little film of uh, the study and some of the object art contained therein. Okay, so we're in the Freud Disco study. The section of books we're looking at at the moment are architecture, psychogeography, urban studies, and there's some maps on the bottom there, some old, a collection of old maps. And there, here we have the fireplace. There's a little squirrel down there, because I love squirrels and where I used to live, the squirrels used to come into my house. And I have a floppy clock, a Dali-esque floppy clock, uh, and above that, a Dali-esque photograph slash painting. Um, and this section here is post-structuralist, Marxist and feminist studies. And here is a present from my friend Tim Waters. It's a map in the shape of a star and that's a part of Yorkshire. And above that is one of my own photographs. It's a, taken with a Lomography camera and it's two images superimposed and it's actually the University of Leeds. So we have some more books over here. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the... If you can see that red book there, that's, that's Young's red book there. Oh, oh, there's my aerobics shoes. This is a study after all, a disco study, and um, you can do aerobics in here. Uh, here are two of my favourite books that I bought myself. Uh, the Laws of Form, I bought that for doing my MA, completing my MA, and this one here, I bought this, it's Austin's How to Do Things with Words, that's for completing my BA, the Jung book was for my PhD, and that's about it really, so it contains all my little object art, which I like quite often, kitsch ones, and that's, oh look there's some uh, modernist architectural kind of drawings there and then there's a wall of um, some of these are original these are little oil, oil paintings by local artists which I really really like and that's my study thanks very much for tuning in to the introduction to the series I uh, hope you liked the, the little films of the hats and also the study I'm planning some more lectures I'm thinking of doing one that looks at the design and architectural plans for the University of Leeds campus going back to the 1960s. Um, that way I can show you um, how planning um, is inherently ideological and we can look at things like uh, discourse um, and power and that kind of thing, which I think you'll find interesting. Um, I'm going to finish now, but before I do, I'm going to show you some little slides of some of my favourite um, uh, object art from my uh, for a disco study. Thanks very much.